creepy things creepy happen, things happen before, before, the grave. before the grave. Good night, everyone. Every human being is one of five types of monsters. Don't believe me? Open your eyes. Number five, acid for blood. Self-righteous, judgmental hypocrites. These walking contradictions snort the world's resources while lecturing the less fortunate, using overpriced tech to savage the poor with pure, unholy brutality. Any fight back and these foul oppressors spit and scream and destroy entire lives with a few keyboard clicks. Mistaking overconfidence for superior intelligence, they despise everyone but their perfect selves. No one else is worthy of breathing their air. They're insulted by every other pulse, ephemeral, faddish, and slaves to fashion. Ostensibly fit and healthy, in reality, they're lazy, but of course, lambast others for their sloth. Incapable of feeling happiness, they alleviate the pain caused by the caustic venom in their veins by putting everyone else on earth down. Number four, people eater. Vampires, ghouls, devourers of humans, they live to belittle, undermine and intimidate, leaving carnage in their yawning wake. Their very cruel words impacts as wrecking balls. Addicted to their simple pleasures, they need no love or warmth. In fact, this would scorch them like a nuclear blast, stripping their mass to show a shriveled and putrid shell. Empty and angry, a primeval scream that haunts rather than lives. But then, to feed again, the vitality surges back to those black eyes and all is perfect in their selfish world. Number three, Mr. and Mrs. Ambition. Meddlers and schemers who playing others off against one another before sitting back and securing their profits. They grasp at anything within reach, a scope which grows exponentially. Theirs is the world you see and everything in it and everyone. Early experiments leave unlucky loved ones battered and bruised, chewed up and spat out when their usefulness expires. No more valued than a cracked test tube or stained lab coat. Money can't buy happiness, but it can prove useful in paving a highway over others' dreams. Their picture-perfect family is bangles and baubles, a gaudy, boastful Christmas card. They raise a glass of brandy worth a year's wages to one of their nameless slaves and let the roaring fire dance inside their hungry eyes. Number two, the zombie. Born dead, a walking plague with no cure. Their first words were a grating pain to everything wrong with the world. They devoured doom and gloom simply to spread their bad news. Society is collapsing, the future is finished, the planet is deafening with its death rattle. Too negative to be cherished. But misery loves company. They latch on to a passerby like a leech, infecting everyone their clawed fingers brush with their fever. Their army grows, trampling the ambitions of everyone in their path into a dark and silent submission. Number one, denial. If you're reading this and are too blinded by self-delusion to view your reflection when it's crystal clear, then I'm afraid you're the most dangerous breed of all the monsters, a hydra. You're five foul heads feeding off one another, for you are all of the above, always and at once, powerfully magnified to make you infinitely worse.